Good morning everyone. We are on our first morning of an epic outback adventure that we're um, going to be traveling through right up the center of Australia, um, through Udnadatta into the Simpson, Uluru and uh, all sorts of amazing places in just over a two and a half week span. And one of the very exciting things that um, we've got on this trip, we've actually been asked to road test a brand new first of its kind power source um, and put it through its paces and see how it works. And we are super excited to introduce to you the DCV Airbase Duo system. So it's just down here. Now, this system is a uh, 3.6 kilowatt uh, power outsource, outsource. The type of lithium that it's working off is a new type of system um, and power, which is actually a, a lithium polymer. And what that means is it's able to give you this huge amount of power at half the weight of all the competitors out there. So this particular unit is totally portable and it only weighs 23 kilo. I can lift it really easily and I'll show that to you later. As we go along, um, we're going to be trialing all sorts of things with it and we're learning about it as we go. We like have literally picked it up just before this trip. So there's a whole lot of things that we need to learn about it and if you follow along our journey you can watch as we actually utilize it as well so um, the system you'll see here has four universal 240 um, volt plugs three these three are actually 10 what uh, 10 amp sorry um, output power and this one's a 15 amp output power which is just perfect for your caravanners now um, each one of these uh, they're called power pods down here that's what's actually running your um, empowering your system now each one of these if you consider your normal mobile phone battery uh, inside your phone each one contains the equivalent of 46 mobile phone batteries in each power pod and each power pod independently has two USB points and a USB, uh, USB C point as well. Fast charge. Now, in the top section of this unit is housed your inverter, um, your cooling system for your inverter, um, your regulator, everything is complete and included in this pack. This will eliminate and totally change the way that we caravan um, and use it for a multitude of uh, causes and uses. And um, uh, the fact that the polymer uh, is means that it's a safe form of energy as well so you might have heard a little while ago about lithium batteries in phones that were catching on fire or power tools that were using the lithium battery and the battery and the tools would just blow up this type of technology is not that type of technology was which was using lithium ioc this is lithium polymer as i said a new technology that renders it safe to use but more importantly, half the weight. Um, and the very fact that this is a 3.6 kilowatt unit, this is more than enough power. We've got a 22 foot van now, and this is more than enough to power our entire van, air, run the air conditioner, run the fridge, all the lighting, and that type of thing. So as we go along, we're gonna find out the longevity of what we can get out of this unit before it needs to charge. Another really unique and exciting feature of this unit as well is that um, you, it has the ability for, to charge the unit itself and continue to put power into whatever you're using at the same time. Whereas uh, most people will know a lot of charging devices, they have to actually shut down while they charge themselves. That's not the case with this particular unit.
as I said it's totally portable so it's it's light enough for me to carry and as you can hear the fans haven't even kicked on yet and when they do um, and you'll hear it along the way as is, is they're not even needing to be on at the moment they are literally whisper quiet I breathe heavier than I can hear what these fans are make the sound they're making as you can see it's also able to be enclosed in a area um, like you wouldn't totally cover it over uh, so again that's something that we're going to be able to utilize and test and, and and see where we can put it what is its ability where it can go all those type of things along our travels but the other super cool thing that this product has that is so unique to anything else is that each power pod can actually be removed independently and replaced or um, taken away as a separate portable charge system on its own as a power pack. So I'll show you in a minute how you can actually eject these power pods. The great thing as well is if you eject one of them, the unit will still continue to run, but it'll just half the amount of time that it has left available if I'm taking away one of the power packs. What this also means is that any other type of system on the market at the moment, when the lithium battery runs out, the entire unit needs to be replaced. You can't actually just change the batteries. This changes everything because of the fact that you can change these power pods and you can have spare power pods as well. So that means you can have continual running energy um, and you'll never run out as long as you can get yourself charged spare power pods. Now I'm going to show you how to remove it. So again we're learning so please bear with me as we um, experiment with this unit. As you can see here it's, it's a very they've made it a very simplified unit which I love as well. Um, so <clears throat> you've got a really explanatory display here quite frankly it's saying at the moment it's 69 percent charged uh, sorry it's it's um discharging at the moment because we've got it plugged into the van so at the moment it's running our caravan fridge and whatever lighting that we've got on and any charging equipment that we've got inside the van at the moment this uh particular percentage down here is how much it's showing how much total battery you have left in your charge system it works itself out it's so smart that it figures out what you've actually got connected to it and it learns as well um, so it can give you an, an approximate time of what if you continue to run at the capacity that you're running how much time are you going to have left uh, if we've got a hairdryer running on it that's using obviously a lot more power obviously that's going to draw right down and it, it'll think if you continue to use this sort of power at that rate this is how much you're going to have left but of course as soon as you turn that system off and that drain it'll change again so it's always thinking and it's, it's working out what you're using and how long you've got to use uh, here it's showing what you're actually how much power you're drawing at the moment so obviously we don't have a lot going on um, that we're drawing off so that's really good as well I forgot to mention you um, the uh, point here is your point for charging the actual unit itself and it comes with a variety of charging uh, applicators and um, we'll discuss those as we go along and, and when we're actually charging the unit um, through some of our other future YouTube tutorials that you can make sure you follow and subscribe so you can see how we're using this and experimenting at the same time um, and with this particular side here, you've got your imp DC input and your DC output sources as well. So that's for things like, um, um, Jay, what's that? What was that one Solar for? Solar charging, cigarette oh. lighter. Yeah, yeah. So your different types of, um, um, yeah, ways to charge the system. We have been told as well, there was a quick test done um, to see how much this char took, how long this took to charge from a completely flat batteries um, through 240 volt, and it was about an hour and a half. So it's super fast charging when you consider how much longevity you can get out of these systems. So back to the power pods. So um, 
if you're going to remove a power pod, don't ever attempt to try and pull it out. You'll never get there. There's like super strong magnets that are holding it in place. So the system's been designed to actually eject the power pod for you. So if you do that, you just press that twice and it'll tell you to pop out the battery. Okay, so... Okay, so the inverter has to be off, doesn't it? We've figured out. Again, as I said, apologies, we're figuring out how to do this. So let's try that again. There we go. So yeah, so the inverter that's running the um, outlets has to be off to be able to eject the battery. So then it simply pulls out and it has now become a removable, completely chargeable source for you, separate and independent of the main unit itself. So these are the power pods. I'll just stand up and show you. Right here. And these are the ones that will are the absolute game changer that, uh, as I said before, you can um, have extra ones of these as a spare. You can take this away as an independent power source to power while your main unit is still powering. Um, and when they become useless and eventually no good, you just simply replace it with a new one and you don't have to change your entire unit. These particular, this, as I said, this is the, oh, and you just give it a push and it's back in. And then turn the inverter back on. And I think it should wake itself up. Is it smart? Yeah. So once you turn the inverter back on, wakes itself back up and it starts 